You might call it stealth surgery, a new technique being pioneered in San Francisco. Trauma surgeons are using high-tech tools to virtually see inside patients without having to cut them, saving patients time, money, and most of all, pain. Surgeons now have a new way to teach this to other doctors. KTVU Health and Science Editor John Fowler joins us now to explain. John? Trauma surgeons at San Francisco General say this technique can dramatically decrease what's called surgical trauma to already injured patients. Next to San Francisco General's respected trauma center, in a 96-year-old brick building, a former tuberculosis ward, doctors are perfecting 21st century computer-aided trauma surgery. We got an exclusive look inside the soon-to-officially open Orthopedic Trauma Institute. Infrared reflectors fixed to the patient are tracked by cameras, then computer combined with a low-dose 3D x-ray. So surgeons have a virtual view inside the patient and of their instruments. This is a reference for our tool and allows us to see where the tool is in space, all the way from the point to the handle. Live images show where the drill or screw is about to go, in this case to repair a shattered pelvis. Those are the three images that give us the confidence that we're going to be inside the bone and not outside the bone. The accuracy uh, of the procedure goes up, so we're able to get in within two or three millimeters versus five or six millimeters. Instead of a 10-inch incision and cut muscles, surgeons need only a few quarter-inch holes in the skin. Most of these patients will have less pain, they'll require less narcotics, they'll get out of the hospital faster, they'll spend less days in the intensive care unit, they'll be able to go home earlier. The Orthopedic Trauma Institute, funded largely with physician donations, is a new joint UCSF and San Francisco General program where experts such as Dr. Matityahu can teach state-of-the-art techniques to other surgeons. They can take the surgeons into the uh, simulated operating room conditions and then provide them with the types of hands-on training that they need to export this sort of technology back into their practice. Doctors say repairing a fractured pelvis or broken back or even broken leg with this technique can significantly improve patients' quality of life and save money. Reporting live, Health and Science Editor John Fowler, KTVU Channel 2 News. That'll do it for us. Coming up next, though, live coverage of President.